Greetings Team LCPS and happy Friday to you. This is your Superintendent Doug Straley coming at you today on Friday, August 18th. Our first MVP Friday of the school year. This is a big day as we hand out our first round of MVP awards, recognizing those living out our non-negotiables here at LCPS. Our non-negotiables are what drive us every single day. They are the foundation of everything we do, supporting one another, having high expectations, being accountable and consistent, always being positive, and having the grit it takes to get the job done right. And it's been a great start to the school year as well. As I walk through our schools, it's been inspiring to see our students and staff working hard and making the magic happen. Here's my encouragement for this entire team. As we move forward, keep the momentum rolling. When we work together and we support each other, I truly believe we can accomplish anything. Let's all commit to making sure this year is the best year yet. And next week is a big week for us as well. Next Friday, one week from today, we celebrate our first Green and Gold Spirit Day of the school year. So have your green and gold ready to go as we show off our Team LCPS pride. Next Friday, you can also send in your green and gold photos and be entered for the chance to win a cool prize. So mark it down, Friday, August 25th, our first Green and Gold Spirit Day of the school year. Then, that night, we kick it off, Friday Night Lights in the jungle for our first home varsity football game of the school year. It's Louisa versus Patrick Henry on Friday night under the lights in the jungle. Let's pack the stadium and have it rocking and cheering on the Lions. And finally, before we get to our MVPs, be sure to check out our superintendent's message that we sent out on Wednesday afternoon, highlighting the importance of good attendance. It's all part of our new initiative, It's Cool to Be in School. Good attendance is a key ingredient to success, so let's continue to make that a point of emphasis throughout this school year. So again, check out the message we sent out on Wednesday evening. If you haven't already seen it, you can check it out right now on our division website. All right, and now let's get to the main event of the day, our Team LCPS MVP Awards. That's right, the moment has arrived. First up, we recognize our community MVP, and this week the honor goes to LaTanya Christmas. Miss Christmas has been a great substitute for our Patriots at TJES and has been supporting the pre-K classroom every day so far this school year, welcoming our youngest students to the team. One nomination this week said she has taken the initiative to calmly sit next to our students during rest time and has conversations with students to make them feel welcome. Community partners like Ms. Christmas are incredibly valuable members of our team. She's been a positive role model for our young Patriots and she's already made a huge impact on her fellow teammates. Ms. Christmas, thank you for your service to the team and thank you for being a great educator. And today, thank you for allowing us to recognize you as our community MVP of the week. Great work and we appreciate you. All right, next, let's move to our classified MVP of the week. And this week, the honor goes to Mr. Wilson Herring. Mr. Herring is a custodian at Louisa County Middle School and he works with his team to keep that school looking great. But not only that, he shows everyone at LCMS that he cares for them through his hard work and positivity. One nomination we received this week from Mr. Herring said it all. He has a heart of gold, green and gold. Mr. Herring demonstrates LCPS pride every single day. He takes pride in what he does, and he does it to the best of his ability. Well, Mr. Herring, what a nomination, and we are honored to have you on our team here at LCPS. And today, it's my privilege to recognize you as our classified MVP of the week. Fantastic job. Keep up the great work, and we are proud of you. All right, now it's time to name our first certified MVP of the school year. And for this, we're gonna head up to Trevelyan's Elementary School to recognize the lead man at TES, Mr. Gary Black. The nominations poured in this week for Mr. Black, who embodies all of our non-negotiables every single day. Through his leadership, our Eagles have created a family environment at Trevelyan's Elementary School. Even when times are tough or the road ahead seems long, Mr. Black's positivity and grit leads the Eagles to success. Check out this one nomination for Mr. Black. It says he leads our building with heart. He is everything to everyone, a friend, a confidant, a coach, a listener, a teacher, and a mentor. He truly is the heart of our building, and we are so lucky to have him. We could not agree more with that nomination. Mr. Black, like all of our principals here at LCPS, is a true leader. 
Mr. Black, thank you for leading your Eagles and for all you do each day to support your students and staff. Today, it is our privilege to recognize you as our certified MVP of the week. Fantastic job, and again, congratulations. And finally, it's time to name our student MVP of the week, and for that, we head to Louisa County High School to recognize freshman Caden Fullerton. Caden is one driven young man in the classroom. He works hard every single day to meet the high academic expectations he sets for himself. And outside of the classroom, he's a member of our very competitive cross country team. And nominations we received for Caden this week, they've mentioned his hard work and the respect he shows to others. One said, he has always been motivated to do well and it would be great to see him recognized for his tremendous efforts. Well, that's what our MVP awards are for, recognizing individuals who are going above and beyond to do their very best. Caden, today we're excited to recognize you for going 212, that extra degree, and we want to thank you for always working to reach your full potential. Keep that great work up. Take some time this weekend to celebrate being our student MVP of the week. Great job. Well, I've got to admit, it's been a blast handing out our MVPs, our first MVPs of the 23-24 school year. It's great to be back in our schools and recognizing our team members for the amazing things they do. So right now, join me one more time as we recognize this week's MVPs. Our community MVP, Ms. Latanya Christmas, a substitute at Thomas Jefferson Elementary School. Our classified MVP, Mr. Wilson Herring at LCMS. Our certified MVP, Mr. Gary Black at Trevelyan's Elementary School. And our student MVP, LCHS ninth grader, Caden Fullerton. Take a look, our first MVPs of the school year, and I couldn't think of a better group. And I can't think of a better team than this one, Team LCPS. This first week, we received more than 425 MVP nominations. Earlier today, those nominations went out to our schools for our students and staff to enjoy. So remember, everyone who's nominated gets a card that details why they were nominated. So join in the action. Head on over to our division website right now, click on the MVP banner on the home page and submit a few nominations. It could change someone's life. And that's our episode for this week. Team OCPS, again, thank you for your support. Over the first week and a half of school, we've had a great start to the school year, and we couldn't do it without you. Thanks for taking the time today to enjoy today's episode. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week for another exciting week of school. We are Team LCPS, and we're one of a kind.